Hi friends, welcome back. My name is Addie Gunnan of Well Loved Clothing and I'm so sorry I was not here last week. We have been moving. Yes, again, I said moving. We are moving from Knoxville, Tennessee to Greenville, South Carolina and I am currently here in Greenville at a temporary rental because we bought a house. You will definitely see some home content. We're waiting to close on it, so we just have to be somewhere for a month before we get in there. So, all that being said, life is changing quite a lot, so I'm a little crazy recently, and so I have some really fun ideas for a lot of videos, but I wanted to start with this one first because I had a lot of trouble packing for the month that we're staying in this little rental. So, I am... A maximalist. I think we all know this. I love pattern, print, color, crazy. Also, let's take a second because I've been watching makeup tutorials and I definitely did a yellow eyeliner to match my earrings and I am really proud of it. <laughs> so, moral of the story, I am a maximalist, which is difficult when packing, especially for something as long as a month. And when I was looking up all these videos, I kept seeing how to cram your life into a carry-on suitcase for a month. And that just didn't appeal to me. Maybe it would have if I was flying on a plane. I totally get all the appeal for that. But I want a maximalist packing video out there, and so I figured, why not make it myself? I have a ton of color and fun that I really like to wear, and self-expression is so important to me that I wanted to still feel like myself. So I'm just gonna show you all of the pieces that I brought. It's kind of like a thrift haul of all of my favorite pieces, and I threw pretty much everything that makes me so happy into my suitcase. And so we're just gonna kinda walk through that and see what I brought, so you can really see the versatility of still packing maximalist while packing only a portion of your wardrobe for a long, amount of time. And maybe next time when you have to pack for a long time but you don't want to be blah with your outfits, you can take my little equations here that I've thought up and use them for yourself. So I hope this inspires you to pack maximalist and be maximalist in every aspect of life. So let's get started with the first piece. Okay, so we're starting with dresses, and my main tips for packing dresses for our maximalist, crazy, colorful everything is bringing dresses that make you happy, but also bringing dresses that are very versatile. So the reason that I brought this dress is because it's this lightweight knit that you can kind of see through, and so it's perfect for spring because I can put like a turtleneck under it, and it's a really warm piece. I also just wear it as a dress this way. I put it under a skirt, worn it as a top. So really just those pieces and can be worn a million different ways are key for this, but also this pattern, the large pattern, kind of lends itself well to print mixing so we'll keep on going through dresses and I'll keep telling you why I brought certain ones so let's keep going <laughs> So this is dress number two that I brought and it has the similar kind of concept with just the light pattern on a white and so it can really go with anything but also print mix as well. The reason that I brought both of these that are kind of similar is because this one is a lightweight button down so again I can wear it as a shirt but then I also love this because I can wear it over pants and it can kind of be like a little bit of an oversized button down look but it's still super cute with sneakers still just like a perfect little outfit on its own. I also love this one with a sweater vest and so I brought a couple of shirts that I love to layer over the top of it so I'm still giving all of my maximalist flair without too many bulky pieces so key is always layering and dresses are a great way to layer so let's keep going to the next dress let me adjust you because this is a glorious dress and you need to see so yes this is another little perfect dress I love the midi on it and this one seemed like it could go a little fancier if I needed it to like throwing on my little orange sandals you'll see in a second and just having this be a very cute little tea party maybe dress it has this beautiful limey green color I'm sure you've seen this in my thrift hauls and on my Instagram before anyway and it makes me super happy I can't necessarily tuck this into pants but I can do the over-the-top layering over this and even like taking that blue floral would be a really fun look with still that maximalist flair but only two pieces that aren't super bulky so we're gonna move on to the next one <laughs> so 
this is another piece that is just really joyful. So I still wanted to spark joy and still wanted to have a lot of fun. But the reason I love this dress is because it can still be a fancier dress, a not so fancy, but you can also layer this one over pants since it is a little shorter. So it already has the color mixing in here. It's kind of like a one and done dress. So those are key pieces also when you're packing for a long-term trip. And can it get any cuter than this little poof dress that I thrift flipped? Loving it so much. Let's keep going. So this is my wow moment dress. If I had anything super fancy to go to, I would have something that I could wear. So it's perfect to throw like a really cozy cardigan over or even a t-shirt and let this little collar poke out of the top and you just have yourself a really interesting outfit. So another tip would just be to grab those pieces that have really luxurious fabrics because that will just elevate your whole look. I'm really in love with it. So next dress. This was a little bit of a last minute throw in dress. Since the weather here is a little warmer, I wanted to bring some kind of spaghetti strap dress just to throw on. My dogs are here too, just hanging out with us. This one is so fun because of the pattern and the length. So it's again, another standalone piece. I'm kind of wondering if I layered this underneath it. Kind of cool, I think. Another super fun thing about this trip is that I'm gonna get to style pieces in a way that I haven't before. And I thought this piece was just a great piece to do that with. So we're gonna keep on going to the next dress. So this dress is kind of a comfort piece for me. It's something that I will just wear on its own and feel so fabulous in. The fabric is kind of this like thicker vintage polyester almost and the pattern on it is gorgeous. So perfect spring transition dress. This is just a really easy peasy piece that I feel really great in and absolutely love. So it's a comfort piece. Just bring your comfort pieces and you'll love everything that you wear every single day. So let's keep on going. This is the world's most perfect jumpsuit. I thrifted this a while ago and it is just to die for. The detail on it, everything. I wear this probably once a week, just on a regular basis anyway. And there's just so much layering and color that you can add to this to make it really interesting, though it's already such an interesting piece on its own. Cream of the crop, so grab those pieces you wear once a week also, because you're still gonna wanna wear those pieces. Love it. Let's keep going. <laughs> My camera died and I realized that I forgot to bring my battery charger. So we are continuing on the phone and I guess I will be filming on my iPhone for the rest of the month. But oh well, on to the jumpsuit. <laughs> my jumpsuits are probably my favorite pieces that I wear once a week. Same as the yellow one, I wear this one all the time. And I love the bright colors on these because then they're still a statement on their own. And the reason I brought both is because this one's a little more utilitarian. It's a little more of like a grungy one, but you can still go out in it. So still very versatile. I wear this one every week too, so of course I'm gonna bring it. So let's keep going to the next piece. <laughs> jumpsuit is perfect for any of those fancier kind of events. It's also a little bit summerier, easy to make fancy or easy to calm down a little bit. But what I really love about it is it has this beautiful little blue pattern. And so I kind of brought a good bit of blues and whites, a few oranges and yellows. So I always like to bring warm tones and cool tones. And this is my go-to for anything fancy. So I always like to bring one or two kind of fancy pieces. So let's keep going. I think I'm gonna move on to sets now. Sort of like jumpsuits, two-piece sets. So let's do it. So this is my 
my favorite two-piece set. Well, I have a lot of favorite two-piece sets, actually. But this is one of my favorite pants ones. They're elastic waist, so they're super comfy. So I wanted to bring some stuff that I could also do for like grungy days around the house, but I can also just wear it out. But it's also great because it has the two pieces to it. So I love to bring a few of these because then it's just endless outfit possibilities with basically just one piece. So, love it. Let's move on to the next set. So this is just one of my favorite neutrals and I think it's always smart to bring a really good neutral piece too because then you can mix it with everything. So that's why I love a really good patterned neutral. But the fact that this is a two piece set is so good because like right now, sneakers, done ready to wear as a really cool statement outfit. But then you can wear the shirt with some other pants. But then the skirt, I wear with absolutely everything. So look for neutrals in patterns too, because then you can mix all your neutrals. Like I would mix that last plaid suit with this same check and it would be a very interesting look, but it's still very cute on its own. So we are going to move on to skirts now. So let's do it. using the rust color. So then I just have a very cohesive closet and it makes me very happy to look at. Very aesthetically pleasing. And so this skirt, I love it because it looks really cute on its own with like a t-shirt tucked into it, even this top tucked into it. Also love it because you can put something over the top of it and it just has this really cool asymmetrical hem. And again, I'm taking that silky satiny kind of fabric that was on that gold dress and using my textures to really enhance my look. And I'm gonna keep on going with some skirts because I have some really fun ones that I haven't even worn yet. So Let's keep going. So I am totally going to wear this look together. I'm loving the mixing of neutrals. Bringing your neutral pieces and mixing them together, so much fun. So I brought this cow print skirt because I think it's just a statement piece. Also super trendy. I wanted to bring a short skirt because I have a couple of long skirts too. So make sure that you're bringing some versatile pieces too. Not all midi, not all short, but just a bunch of pieces that make you feel like you're wearing a very different outfit even though you're wearing the same piece. So another skirt is coming for you. <laughs> So this is my skirt that I wear when I want to wear jeans but don't want to wear jeans. So it just is a statement. It's big and flowy and tiered. has a very retro feel. I even feel like so cute in my little prairie look right now. But just kind of keeping my pieces pretty versatile. I have a printed skirt, a cool tone skirt, this one, and then my rest one which is a more warm tone skirt. So I can really change it up in any outfit. So I think we're going to move on to pants and I'm sadly probably going to change my top. So let's do it. Just realized that I forgot to tell you that I also brought a pair of overalls. I bring overalls everywhere because I will always wear them. We go to and also very trendy right now. So we'll get you a pair. <laughs> are my go-to pants if I want just an easy jean. They're olive green, because I'm not the biggest denim gal. They're a little bit softer denim. I tossed on my little purple gray top that I thought was so cute with it too. And this is just another really versatile piece that I can throw over anything, under a jacket. Always bring a really good pair of jeans that you love and some simpler tops. All your simple pieces are really gonna keep your crazy pieces going. So let's keep on going with some other pieces. Jumping right back into the crazy pattern, fun. But again, it is a neutral pattern, so it goes with pretty much anything. I also love these as a white pants substitute. These are just one of my favorite pieces that I love. I guess the moral of the story for this whole video is pretty much just pack what you love and you'll love your wardrobe. So let's keep on loving our wardrobe with the next pair of pants. <laughs> So 
So I just thrifted these. You probably saw them in my last thrift haul, but I am obsessed with them. They are like a pajama pant material almost, but they have a zipper, so they're pants. But I also wear PJs anyway. Don't know why I'm trying to justify myself. So I just love them. I think they're perfect for spring. I brought a lot of plain tops and patterned pants. So don't try to force yourself into a style that you don't like either. Like I didn't bring a ton of jeans. Oh, actually I forgot to show you my jeans. I didn't want to put them on, but they're basically just regular high-waisted great jeans. Those were my jeans and these are my crazy pants. Let's see more crazy pants. <laughs> Also just thrifted them but I brought them because they're a perfect transition pant because they're pants but they're like this linen-y pink gingham and so they really transition well from end of winter kind of chilly to spring and summer I always like to add one splash of color that's unexpected so I didn't bring anything else pink but this is my one pink piece if I really need to add pink to an outfit so add something unexpected to keep your wardrobe kind of alive through the month that you are traveling or living in a temporary rental waiting for your house to close. Woo! <laughs> so we are gonna move on to tops. I'm not sure how many I'll try on, honestly, because I'm just sort of tired, but I will definitely show you every single one. So let's do it. This is my statement top. All the detail is just impeccable. And I think I only brought one other top that's this kind of caliber of crazy, but it's still great for layering. I'll put this under t-shirts or under tank tops and wear it even with that little cow print skirt. It would be very cute. So I'm using my same little technique of printed neutrals to mix up together. So when you're packing, find that one shirt that is just a really beautiful detailed piece that you can take from day to night or whatever it might be and pack that baby up because I've already worn this once this week and I love it. <laughs> so we're gonna look at more of my less crazy top. <laughs> classic shirt that I think everyone should have and that everyone should bring if they're going to go somewhere for a long time. It's just a white blouse, but it still has some beautiful detail. So I brought two white blouses. I'll show you the other one. So I love something with a collar. It's completely unbuttoned right now. I love that this one was already cropped. So this is a longer line shirt and it's a little bit fancier. I feel like my button downs, I usually do a little more casual. And these two blouses serve very different purposes for me. But if something serves about the same purpose, pick one and leave the other one at home. We're gonna move on to the not so white, not so boring kind of shirt. These are my more patterned shirts that still go really well with all of my patterned pants. They're still very cute on their own. A short sleeve button down is one of my favorite looks. I really love to use them to layer. You may be thinking, oh, well, those are kind of the same. But to me, they are not because this one is a little bit more of a casual fabric. The frayed edges make it a little more casual. And then this one can be dressed up a little bit, say with those yellow pants that I brought. That's just a personal preference. So base your packing off of your personal preferences. Biggest rule that I could ever have, base all your clothes off of your personal preferences and you will never go wrong and you will never not have something to wear. Let's keep going with shirts. <laughs> shirts that I'm not wearing. <laughs> but these are basically my under layers. Since I love to layer with my maximalism loving self, I love to bring some base layers that are just really cozy pieces that can also be worn by themselves. This black and white and gray leopard. And so I'll wear this one under graphic tees a lot to just give a little pop of pattern. And then this one, I wear this 
probably every other day. Like, it's a bodysuit, so it stays really close to my body and just makes me feel really good and look really good. And it's that perfect little rusty color. So I can have a super cool monochromatic look or I can add it to the yellow pants and maybe have a two-tone sort of look. So just keeping with that color palette gives you a lot of options. Bringing some lighter weight layering pieces is just a great idea for any kind of trick. Let's keep going. For jackets, I wanted to keep it lightweight and colorful. I wanted them to be a layering piece that I could throw on to a somewhat boring outfit and make it very interesting. But I just love to wear these with shorts or even throwing one of these over the top of this outfit and making it look really cool. So it's never a bad idea to bring a jacket or two on any trip, even if it's in the summer. You never know what you're gonna encounter and it's great to just have a little piece. So I'm gonna show you my sweaters and then my tank tops and I think we'll be done here. Yay for me for packing light. <laughs> Let's go look at those sweaters. <laughs> So for sweaters, I wanted to bring a warm tone, a cool tone, and something neutral, which is exactly what I did right here. But I also like to mix it up and bring pullovers and cardigans because you never know what you're going to kind of go for. My cool tone is this beautiful lavender pullover with a puff sleeve and a tie waist. It feels like a little bit fancier of a sweater. For my warm tone one, I brought my yellow cardigan. So right now I actually have it pinned to make it into a pullover, but this one I wear all the time. The color is so good and it's a little cropped cardigan with a puff sleeve. Perfect for spring but it also goes with all the colors that I've brought. And then this last sweater is more of like a sweatshirt to me but it still is a very cute combo for when I'm wanting a little bit more neutral of an outfit. It also serves the purpose of a pullover since I can button it up or as a cardigan if it's unbuttoned. So think of the sweaters you wear all the time because I have a ton of sweaters but I only brought three on this trip. So we're going to move to a little bit cooler of a piece and look at the tank tops that I brought. Let's keep going. said it enough in this video and so tank tops are the easiest way to do that especially when it is warmer outside I'm gonna start with this baby right here because I think it would be really cute over the outfit I'm wearing right now it's just perfect to mix with this maybe with my pink checked pants and this would be such a cute little summery outfit still thinking about transition if it starts to get really hot here I have a ton of tank tops to wear moving on to another little yellow one this one serves a different purpose it's a little more casual a little more smocked and I like to layer this one when I want something a lot more fitted but I also wear this one on its own more often because I love a wide strap of course again yellow because that's what I brought this trip another one is this pretty olive green that looks cute on its own but I also layer this under like that blue sweater and then I brought another little turtleneck tee that I completely forgot to hang up so it was in my drawer very cute has these little lime green stripes on it and so one thing that I really loved with this idea was to layer this kind of thing it's a very cute color pattern combo and then this one is just a sweater vest I think it's always smart to bring a sweater vest because you can throw it over a dress and it just makes it look really cute and finally I have my little sweater set so it is this cropped tank top and I made a cardigan to go over the top of it and so it can be worn a million different ways. I wear the cardigan by itself, the tank top by itself, all of it together. So those are all of my tank tops but I will show you the shoes that I brought and we will be done with this tiring video. Woo! <laughs> Okay, after trying all of that on, I'm exhausted. And so that is everything that I brought. Mine is like undies and some sweatpants, but those are cozies. Thanks for hanging out with me. I just hope that this inspires you next time that you have to pack for a big trip to not be afraid of the big and bold and just to make yourself a color palette find your favorite pieces, and just always be boldly you, whether that's maximalist, minimalist, whatever. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and remember, you are well loved. Bye. Yeah,